Well, there are loads of these challenges around at the moment, so I thought it was about time I joined the club and started one of my own. Uh, this is called the Two Minute Tie, and this is aimed at people who tie flies. Um, those of us who um, tie our own flies so that we can go and catch fish with them. Um, the rules are very simple. It's a fly tied from start to finish inside two minutes, and that means there's nothing in the vise at the moment. You can see that the vise is empty, so I haven't got the hook in there or the bead on or anything else. I'm going to tie a nymph with a tungsten bead on it, so part of the operation will be to put the bead on the hook inside the two minutes. Um, so start to finish inside two minutes, um, and once you've completed it, the idea is that then you challenge another fly tire to tie their pattern inside two minutes. And I want you to video your attempts, um, succeed or fail, stick them up um, on the site and um, we'll see where we get to. It's going to be based on our On The Bank page and the cause that we're tying for is one that's close to my heart which is Help For Heroes. Now one of the reasons that um, I'm a big fan of that charity is that I'm a member of a services fly fishing association. I'm a member of the Portsmouth Services Fly Fishing Association which is a club um, made up of uh, former servicemen and serving uh, members of the armed forces um, and it gives them the chance to kind of I suppose escape from the pressures of their daily lives by going fishing on some of the fabulous chalk stream fishing we've got around the south. Um, so that's the club I'm a member of and you can obviously instantly understand why Help for Heroes is a cause that's very close to my heart. Okay I've been waffling on for long enough it's time to have a crack. Remember start to finish in two minutes. Trusty iPhone in hand Slight breeze, materials blowing around all over the place, possibly not the best plan, but we shall see how we get on. Are we ready? I suppose I am. Okay, here we go in three, two, start. Right, first bit, get the bead on the hook. This is something that's always a bit fiddly, isn't it? This is a Hanak 450BL, and it's a three and a half millimeter copper slotted bead, and that has gone on really easily, which is a real bonus tying thread down the shank of the hook. Trim off. Don't drop the scissors, Fordy. Usually drop the scissors, blunted more pairs than I care to remember. Bit of colder canard on the back for the tail. Pull it in. My colder canard has just blown off across the garden. I shall have to go and find that in a minute. Let's go around the back and trim. Right, now I have just a little length of gold holographic tinsel. I don't use wire for my gold repairs ears, I like using tinsel because I think it adds a bit of flash. That's tied in. Some brown hairs ear dubbing from Michael's Appal which is absolutely phenomenal dubbing. Brilliant stuff. Clock is ticking, 55 seconds gone. Come on 40! Oh it's a bit messy. Oh no it's all gone spangly. Moped going past on the road outside. Let's see if I can tidy that up. Just about get away with it. Right, rib up from the back. Don't mind if it's a bit scruffy. One, two, three, four wraps round the bead. Tie it off with the thread. Give it a trim. A little pinch more dumbing if I got time. 20 seconds left. Come on, 40. There's the collar. 14 seconds for a whip finish. My god, this fly is untidy. But I've done it. Whoa! Cut. Five seconds to spare. It's not the best fly I've ever tied. I reckon I could catch a fish with it. There's the timer. But it just goes to show that you can tie a fly in two minutes. Um, so there you are. That's the two minute tie. Uh, my version of a gold ribbed hare's ear tied in a right old hurry, a little bit scruffy. I reckon it'd catch a fish. Um, you never know. Now it's your turn. And I hope you like the fly and I hope you like the course. Mm -hmm.